means to an end. We tell winter our names and protect our heads while sleeping, but not the get well soon cards, knocked off TV trays bent into mirrors, slippery with beer and smashed against an oar's splintered remains as children thrust their arms into a pharmacy's decorative wishing well. There are homes you will never see again, which has only partly to do with the present state of architecture, organizing the space between dog and leash, the width of an angel's wing, walked in a park commemorating the polar expedition member who refused to get out of bed before noon. Helicopter blades slice off treetops we wear as hats for the rest of the fashion season, even after the judge requested we remove them in the courtroom to the sound of nervous laughter and the snap of unfastened holsters worn by amateur magicians exiting toward the fog machines. I know I've made mistakes, but there's no such thing as a confession, only a different portrait painted for each sitter turning green from the overseasoned meat. I'll be in the kitchen washing the dishes and watching butterflies migrate along a flyway lined with McDonald's signs, adding burbs to an obstacle course. The first dream was about loss, the second was about finding directions. Nurses on a smoking break huddle together outside in the cold after a shift spent tending to ripped out piercings. Ambulances shake curbside with their heaters on high, warming bags of plasma and needles coughed on by the words for divorce.